we have a machine called ChatGPT that is estimated in certain tasks to perform at 110 IQ and in other tasks at 155 IQ. Just so that you know, Elon Musk is 155. Einstein, was, which was never really measured, is estimated to be 162. So we have machines today that are as intelligent as Einstein. And we as humans, sitting in the cold water, the gradually heating water, are chilling and you know, discussing and saying, oh, no, but we will always be humans. We will always be in the lead. They will always need us. Okay? And I used to go mad in 2016 when people would tell me, oh, but hold on, <laughs> you know, AI, no, no, you know, humans, we're capable of creativity, we're capable of, you know, poetry and music, and these are things that AI will never do. What? What do you mean? I mean basically, they're doing every one of them better than us. Right? Why? Because if you take the most complex of them, innovation, for example, in my very geeky mind, innovation can be turned into a mathematical equation. It's basically an instruction to a, to a machine that says, find every possible solution to a problem, discard the ones that were uh, proposed before, give me the ones that have never been proposed uh, before. And that is innovation. This is it, right? It's solutions to a problem that have not been uh, seen before. What it means is that the world has changed. And the key word to artificial intelligence is, uh, is singularity, is that we don't actually know how the world will change. A singularity is an event horizon where the rules of the game change so much that you're no longer able to understand how the game will be played. When the rules of the game uh, become that the smartest person you can ever hire in your company is no longer a human, everything you know about the rules of HR change. Uh, when the rules of the game change to the point where your customer is not necessarily making their choices themselves anymore, but that the machine will recommend to them, uh, the rules of the game change. When, you know, I've seen beautiful marketing advertising campaigns here, when there will be a moment in the near future when machines will be marketing to machines and we will be out of the picture altogether, the rules of the game change. And I want to say that as the rules of the game change, we can end up in a magnificent utopia of abundance, and we can also end up in a dystopia of a very difficult time. Let me talk about the, 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 the utopia of abundance first, so that you understand I'm not here to scare you. I'm here to tell you that the water is boiling. My objective is for you to jump out of the pan. But today, to do that, I have to tell you it's boiling and that hurts. Let's talk about the abundance first. The abundance is this. You may not feel it anymore, but the reason we have all of this technology is because there is a plug in the wall that is providing a very valuable resource called electricity. Electricity has become a utility. It's in the back of our minds. We don't even think about it anymore. Uh, there will be another plug in the wall, probably in your pocket, in your phone, uh, that is called intelligence. It's a utility. And today, just last night, I plugged into that intelligence and I got myself what I would probably estimate to be an extra 25 IQ points. I became 25 IQ points more intelligent yesterday as, well, as I was analyzing a complex problem using AI. There will be a moment in the future where I will plug in and get another 100 IQ points. There will be a moment in the future where I will plug in and get 400 IQ points more. Now, I can promise you this. If you give me or any of my peers that I worked with at Google uh, X 400 IQ points more, I will solve every problem on planet Earth. Every single one of them. Climate change, uh, you know, uh, wars, wealth, whatever. As a matter of fact, I, I keep telling people openly that with 400 IQ points more, I can plant a garden outside where you can walk to one tree and pick an apple and walk to another tree and pick an iPhone. From a nanophysics point of view, it's the exact same cost. And we are on the verge, if you understand where we are on nanophysics and, nano, and, and you know, nano manufacturing in general, uh, we are on the verge of being able to do that. We just need to be a slightly more intelligent. Now, that is a world of abundance hmm, where everything changes. Imagine if we can solve the energy problem to the point where energy becomes zero cost. 
because energy is so abundant around us. What would that do to the geopolitics? Would we fight over energy anymore? Would we, you know, how, how would the cost of products become if energy was free? Think about all of that. That's a utopia that is almost impossible to imagine, that completely changes everything we've ever learned, definitely changes retail, and it is literally a few years away.